Hello, this is Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. Today, we're going to look at our April Fool's PowerPoint lesson and we'll give you a quick walkthrough. So let's check it out. So April Fool's is not actually a thing in China. Um, so with this first slide, I just go over the key points. April Fool's is on the 1st of April and the key word, my target language for the class, prank. Now, I let the students know that prank is a joke, but it's a physical joke. Um, they probably won't understand this, so I actually do a lot of demonstrating. So, for example, what I'll do is I'll point at the back of the class and I'll shout dinosaur. And when they turn around, I'll say prank, or I'll do the old chestnut of holding the finger under the nose of a student and when they look down, I'll flick it up. Or I can pull chairs away from students or something like that. Uh, just make sure that you're safe. Um, but just as long as they kind of get that it's a physical thing, it's not something that we say and that it's a prank. And because it's not common in China, this is one of the only classes where I will have a video uh, that's fully in Chinese. So I have a, this video by Chinese Class 101 where they explain in Chinese about the April Fool's holiday. And straight after that video, I will go into another video by Fun Awesome uh, on YouTube uh, and it's called Easy Pranks for Kids. And basically it's a dad with his family and he's pulling pranks on his children. Uh, the key thing with this is all the pranks are very physical and visual uh, with minimal uh, talking uh, so the students have a better idea uh, that it is a joke and that it is a prank. So after these videos we go back into the PowerPoint and I have a, a list of different pranks and I let I go through each one and I have the students kind of like soak it in and see the different pranks and get a laugh from each one of these pranks. And by the end of this, I'll have six pranks. And with this slide, it's basically to get them to uh, use the word prank. Uh, so I say, which prank do you like? And I'll give what I like. I like prank number six. It's very funny. And I'll have them tell me what they like. And it's a very fun and simple way for them to tell me a, what they think is funny and do to use the target language of prank. And this one is for them to have a bit of a think. So is it a prank or is it not a prank? Is it real? And I've got some famous uh, pranks through history and also things that they might not know that I can kind of trick them with. Uh, this one is there's also one with me with long hair. Uh, you know, feel free to change that up and use a picture of your own. And then we go over the comprehension. So, uh, you know, what they remembered from all the introduction on the videos uh, that I showed in Chinese about the different vocabulary and see if they remember. And then I actually like to do another big prank and I tell them I'm going to have a test and I actually have some paper and try and get them to take out the pencil. And as soon as enough students are actually starting to think that they're going to have it, I'll just say that, ah, it's a prank and I got you a game. And then for the rest of the class, uh, we just watch lots of uh, funny prank videos. Uh, I try to keep all the prank videos very visual, um, but I will throw in some ones where uh, they do sort of uh, make jokes and stuff like that. Um, now this class, I don't actually often do it on April Fool's Day, um, but I will do it on the week when they're doing exams uh, because it is quite video heavy. Um, they will be able to kind of relax and enjoy this class uh, more uh, because I've not got any new vocab for me to cover as we'll be doing exams. So uh, you can find this uh, particular PowerPoint on our website under the April Fools page. Uh, please feel free to download it and use it as you may. And if you like uh, 
the PPT. Uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks. Bye.